What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This week we're doing a bit of a rig rundown. We're at the Bledsoe Creek State Park here in Lebanon, Tennessee. We'll start off with the winch mount and the bash plate. There's only one of each. Up front and center we got the custom winch mount that uh, my cousin and myself had fabricated. We took a universal winch mount, cut it up with the plasma cutter, welded it in between those frame rails, mounted it upside down which that's okay as long as you keep the clocking right the winch will work just fine and as you've seen in the last videos the winch works just fine my goal was to make it look like stock keep it clean up front let's head to the back now bash plate yep it bashes things had to replace the old one when it broke and I went with a heavy duty one this time around alright fuel cans got a lot of questions about these so I've got them up front either side here's the passenger side fender uh, it's a pretty neat design because the whole bottom part comes off if I need to track it too tight take this right off and what you're left is uh, three bolts here nice and flat to the fender easy peasy no problem pretty much same thing goes on this side same exact design just a little bit different for the snorkel but uh, again Bottom half, trails get too tight, take these bolts out, pop it right off. Swing it around back. This one never comes off, no need to. Uh, I'd like to point out also on all three of them I got those lock straps. Those are uh, straps with a metal inside, locking carabiners. Can't steal my fuel. Let's head up top to the roof rack. Really got to do something with that hood. I keep uh, recovery gear in that ammo box. That's just a sick tire in case something goes really south and the rest of them are gone. Another question I get is uh, about this high lift, how I have it mounted. I don't. I just have it stuffed in there. It fits nice and tight. And then the uh, lock cable that goes around that tire, I just lock that up with too. The Voyager rack, I uh, got it second hand. Needed a bunch of work, took it down repainted it I got all that pictures of that on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out I'll leave a link right here suspension and tires that's like everybody's favorite right so for springs I run uh, Dobinson's from Australia shocks are old man emu in the back I've got um, relocation cones so the rear axle can fall out from under the truck caster corrected radius arms I don't have any of that stuff up front, but I do have got the uh, tie rod ends and drag links and uh, all that fancy schmancy stuff up under the steering. Check that out. Never mind that Terra Firma sticker. It's just a cool looking steering damper and I figured I'd want to give it a shot. Hey, pop the hood. Four liters of fury. It's pretty much stock under here. I mean... I've maybe done one or two things, mostly just maintenance, changing the oil a bunch. You can see uh, I keep it nice and dirty. The only really thing that I've done down here is added this battery and the, uh, the snorkel, which you can see in the air box there. Oh, another thing I want to point out is the uh, solenoid there. That's for the winch. This here is a pretty neat little, this is how I jump myself if I need to. Battery bank A to battery bank B, connected, good to go. Inside and we got uh, switches and voltmeter here on the dashboard a little pod I made up for these things winch controls LED lights also a switch in there to run the auxiliary fans uh, for when I'm wheeling take a look here at the uh, CB radio got in here on channel 4 for full wheel driving breaker breaker hmm guess no one's out there maybe next time 
pop that off one time. Here's a fuse box. <laughs> I supplied a 100 amp service inside off of the uh, third battery that's in the back of the truck. Extra outlets everywhere. That one powers the fridge. Another thing I did up here in the cab was uh, added a fan just to move the air to the back. This was not a rear air model truck, so just keep that air moving around is nice, especially when you're sleeping. Middle door, left side, we got our air hose for the compressor, one on either side. That's great for at the end of the tracks, man, what a difference. Back here I got a battery box, circuit breakers, 100 amp. 80 amp and then uh, 50 amp and then another well there's 250 amps for the uh, air compressors here battery box in there for uh, bank two I got two banks three batteries total this switch controls them all that's the uh, inverter here that's on the 80 amp circuit moving along we got water storage for the shower here's the hoses for that uh, what else is in here a bunch of stuff the water heater is kept in here uh, basically just all the shower in type stuff there's the uh, the water pump and then uh, the toiletries bag, shampoos and deodorants and stuff like that. Inside, underneath, there's just a little bit of storage. Just a little bit of extra storage in there, tools and whatnot, mostly just tools. Same thing on the other side, we got another uh, airline off of the other compressor. So I usually just fill up both back and both front at the same time, you know, one or the other. There's a little uh, 13 watt briefcase solar panel. It's not much, but it does the job. <clears throat> Hatchets and shovels and stuff like that. I keep back here more storage. Uh, jacks, Land Rover Jack, good to have. This bag should really be underneath everything like the rest of the stuff. Take a look at the other compressor. And shout out to Iron Man compressors because that has just been a game changer for real. Take a look at the storage area again from the other side. Moving on to the rear. Basic things. Fire extinguisher is a necessity. Those camp lights are an RGB. They run off a battery pack. The battery pack's actually right there. I don't know. You could probably see that. And then uh, right in front of the other water tank is, or I guess in, in the back of the other water tank is another water tank. So they each hold seven gallons, so that's 14 gallons total. Uh, real simple, just put it on a drawer slide. Uh, neat little trick about it. Just slide this water back. And uh, you can actually pop out this front, uh, front little bit. And I, that's what I, I, I hang my sink my kitchen sink hangs there four four carabiners bing bong bing bong and it just hangs there so you wash your dishes uh carabiners should be in no they're not in there oh well this is a little homage to the discovery got the same lines as what's on the back door there i i'm just really happy with that milk crate classic just keep all my uh kitchen stuff in there normally the bio light and all that rest of that stuff's in there it's just outside at the campground right now at the moment but take a look at that all aluminium frame i made that last year this is like version 2.0 there's that battery pack paper towels what i keep back here is uh cooking books and uh, uh solar panel for the bio light i gotta tell you man that thing absolutely rocks probably one of my favorites there's dolce over there I forgot what I was doing. Swing it back around this way. And I just keep like uh, dry food in here. Just a uh, pantry of sorts. Check that out. 50th anniversary, baby. Here's the bed. Fridge type things. A little thermometer for the fridge with an alert. Beeps really annoying. I plug in back here. I got my drawers there. Uh, let's see. Oh, I keep my camping chair up there. That's pretty nice. Sleeping bag. It's not too bad back here, honestly. So I get a lot of questions about the awning and uh, how sweet it is. And I gotta tell you, man, it, it that's another one that I can say is a game changer for me anyway. So I'm gonna just undo this here and we'll watch it happen in real time. The only thing that I can say is that I already had it unzippered because 
sometimes when I'm packing up, I'm just a little bit lazy. So whatever the end result is, we'll add maybe two seconds for unzippering. Check it out, 30 seconds in, it already looks like an awning. Far out, that's done. 102, maybe 104. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, check out the next one. Looks like we're going to get the Range Rover back in the shop.